on the street is you want to know how to land armor 3 helicopters in tight spaces. Well, you came to the right place, my friend, as in this video, I will teach you how to do that in under five minutes. Let's get right in. Firstly, controls. One of the more overlooked things when trying to land in tight spaces is failing to have an easy to reach pitch up key. Once you've got your controls set up, stick to it. Muscle memory doesn't respond well to constant interruptions. Secondly, field of view. If you own a track IR or another tracking device, you need to be making good use of it to look into your turns when you're coming in for a hot landing. If you don't own one, double tap the minus key on your number pads to get a wider field of view. You can also change your field of view permanently in armor through the documents folder. The more of your lower cockpit glass you can see, the more ground clutter you're going to have your eyes on. Thirdly, know your helicopter. I've said this time and time again, but if you don't don't know the dimensions of your helo, you'll underestimate where the hitboxes are, and that will end badly. You can't land a mohawk in the same place you'd park a hummingbird, so know your chopper. Finally, before we begin landing, you must ask yourself, what is my experience level? If you've got, say, under 300 hours and you've barely touched helicopters, you will need to A, practice relentlessly in the editor before attempting anything like this in multiplayer, and B, plan your LZ ahead of time. If you have 300 to 500 or even a thousand hours and over, let's say, and you've flown a fair bit, then you can practice impromptu landings at speed. These are meant to simulate combat scenarios in the heat of the moment where you have to act quickly and with confidence. The way you do this is by picking a built up area like Georgetown in Tanoa and swooping low level over building tops, picking random clearings in the street to land in between. Sometimes you'll pull it off, sometimes you won't and it will end horribly with an angry child screaming at you over VoIP. Your flying will stagnate if you don't push yourself. So so don't be afraid to be a bit ballsy and go outside of your comfort zone. The five stages of tight landings. Firstly, hold your lower throttle key whilst pitching up until you feel a drop in altitude. I usually bank to the left, but all the way throughout this maneuver, I'm holding or tapping my pitch up key. The important thing here is feeling a tangible drop in altitude. Secondly, keep your helicopter in a smooth arc. If we follow my landing pattern from a bird's eye view, although I'm bobbing in and out lots, I'll either do an S, C or O shape overall. Whatever you choose will depend of course on terrain, the size of your helo, the enemy presence and your ability. Lots of things will be happening in mere seconds, but what separates good pilots from excellent ones is being able to think quickly and calmly under pressure. Thirdly, once we're in our arc, now comes the committal stage. You've picked an area. You have literally seconds, maybe three or four at the most. Once you're in, there's no backing out. For example, in a tight street, you can't swing around and nope out of there. Stick to your guns once you've committed to an LZ. Fourth comes the precision step. What I'm doing here is aggressively banking and rolling the helo into a direction I want it to go into. This takes extremely powerful yet precise movements of the cyclic. Practice pushing the cyclic to one side in the editor and then recovering from it as quickly as possible so your virtual horizon is level again. This is the type of effect you want to replicate but at street level. Finally, the tidy up stage. We need to bring in our pedals here to clean up any messy edges during those previous aggressive cyclic movements. Remember not to overdo it. Keep things calm and measured. Do not overcompensate. You'll be in a really tight space, so stay vigilant. And don't forget, unless you're Greta Thunberg, trees are not your friends. And that's it. Drop me a sub and a like if this helped you and look out of course for a new video I'm working on comparing Armour 3's helicopters with the helicopters and squad. Best of luck and happy flying guys. See you all later. Tommy out.